Barca's win in Madrid then put some level on points with Real Madrid at the top of the table as Sevilla moved up to third uh, today. Lionel Messi, gentlemen, just, just stealing the headlines once again. Mm. The difference. If well, you put him on Atleti, Atleti would have won today. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I thought you were going to say... If, yeah, you don't have to put him on you just have to take him off. I thought you were going to say if Lionel Messi wasn't playing, Atleti would have won. Maybe that wouldn't have been the case because Ter Stegen yep. is mm. kind of keeping it out at one end and he's delivering it at the other end to really... And, and, you know, it was mentioned, and it has been mentioned, it's a kind of paper and over the cracks exercise. But I suppose it, when you're a manager, if you go and sit down with your board, you just say, well, we've got another win. So he is kind of... He's getting it over the line for his manager at the moment. But it only takes an injury or a couple of bad games for that to change because Barca were not good, but they got the job done. And listen, Atleti have to kick themselves. and You have to be kicking themselves. You know, they did have chances. Yes, Ter Stegen made saves, but they didn't do enough. Young Zhao Felix, in and out in the first half, hardly saw him in the second half, got taken off. The upside for them is Morata is looking better than he was at Chelsea, but that's a very low bar. Uh, but they're off the pace as well at the moment uh, under Simeone. Ten years ago today, Messi won his first Ballon d'Or. During that time, is it right to say that Barca are more, more reliant on him now than they've ever been? Oh, absolutely. Been? Absolutely. And you just have to look at, at particularly players coming from midfield, who, I, in, my, in my opinion, I, I don't think Barca will get anything out of midfield. So as a result, too often, and, and which is when you see Messi drift out of games, He's dropping back in trying to get on the ball and, and doesn't have any kind of, uh, the kind of impact you'd expect, especially against a team like Atletico Madrid, who dropped so many numbers behind the ball. Nobody else really has the guile. Um, De Jong, who I like a lot, but, but frustrated because he doesn't have any kind of support either. So you understand the frustrations and why Barcelona continues to stutter. And then you see Lionel Messi do as, as he did towards the end of this game. At the moment, you know, come at the hour, come at the man kind of thing. And as we keep seeing, unless we're talking about Lionel Messi, we are talking about Barcelona disappointing yet again. On the other side of that same coin, Lionel Messi does these things and it is simply breathtaking. Go back to almost the start of the decade, 2011 Champions League final at yeah. Wembley, mm -hmm. Man United. Take Messi out of that team. That was still a great team. Yes. That would do... Marvellous. Was doing marvellous things with a, another great player in there. This is the opposite side of the decade and the opposite side of the spectrum now. It's a team that are struggling with some aging players. They're trying to replenish with the guys that Shaq mentioned, but it's still kind of the same old guard that's bailing them out: Messi yeah. and Suarez. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.